guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin.blogspot.com, and today is the last day of sneaks of the Cloud9 paper um, or card making kit that is only available during January from Close to My Heart for National Paper Crafting Month. Um, I've repeated it in every video, so I apologize. And I apologize about this lighting. I don't know what is going on here. I'm making horrible shadows. Um, but here is this card, which um, is the last one we're going to be making. Uh, the kit is awesome. It gives you, you will be making five cards, and you can make two of each of the five cards, so it's ten cards. Um, you will get three brand new items that will not be released um, to the public, actually, other than this kit until February 1st when the 2014 Spring Summer Idea Book comes out. Um, you will get the gold, whoops, that's silver, the gold and silver durables, which will come together. You will get the uh, gold polka dot um, uh, washi tape, and you will get the teal shimmer trim. Uh, this kit works with um, the colors that coordinate with it are the Lagoon, the Sunset, and Honey. Uh, you will get three sheets of cardstock and 15 card bases and envelopes, and it takes literally five minutes to cut out all three pieces, all, this, all the pieces that you need. I actually went ahead and cut them all out myself. Um, It'll take you about five minutes, and every card takes roughly five to seven minutes to make. It's super easy. Um, the I was going to say something. Oh, this kit is also wonderful because you do not need to own a die cutting machine uh, to have the fun cutouts on this card because um, they give you a sheet of all the cutouts, which is awesome. Um, I was really excited for it, but I will also tell you that if you want to continue to use the card, the the, the leftovers, and um, the stamps, they the images that get stamped from the image, um, ugh, the stamps that do that you can stamp onto the image that coordinate with it, you can cut them out um, out of the artiste cartridge. So um, I think I filled you in on everything. Uh, it's a fifty. This kit is fifteen dollars with a thirty-five dollar purchase. So, or you can get it free if you join under me to be a consultant during the month of January, and you do get your qualifying sales of $300 by the end of the quarter, which is March 31st, you'll get the kit mailed to you for free. Um, other than that, you cannot get this kit after January 31st, so don't delay, don't wait, go on and get yours today. You'll be sorry if you don't, because the stamp set alone, um, which I'll give you, I'll show you real quick, is amazing, and this set, stamp set will not be... Um, repeating again will not be available in the 2014 uh, spring summer idea book and catalog I've already previewed it and it's not in there this is your only chance to get it so don't delay and just grab the kit okay so let's go ahead and get started on our card I'm gonna go ahead and fold my card piece I'm gonna take my love stamp and I'm gonna take my cutouts I will ha I have four hearts and I'm gonna do save my two small hearts on the side for a second and my big big heart I'm gonna take the second largest heart and I'm gonna go ahead and get my love stamp all inked up in the lagoon and then I'm gonna stamp my image onto that heart with the lagoon make sure you get your stamp all inked up real good and you're going to line up and stamp. And make sure you're stamping on top of your foam piece. That way you get a nice flush stamp. See how great that looks? It's awesome. So you're good with the Lagoon ink now. Now you're going to take your Sunset ink and a sponge dauber. And you are going to take your biggest heart and your two smallest hearts. And you are going to sponge them up. So make sure you have a piece of our um, a piece of card um, scrap paper or something underneath you. That way, um, that way, when you ink up the the hearts, you won't get your table all messed up or your work area. And actually, I'm going to use my tweezers to hold this. So I'm not getting my fingers all messed up. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
Okay. Now, as for the big heart, you don't need to do the entire heart. All you're going to be doing is the edges, but you're going to go in about a quarter of an inch all the way around because you're going to layer this the heart that you stamped the love on right on top of it. So all you're going to see is the edges. So just make sure your edges look real nice with the sunset. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go all the way around. Oh my goodness, my Facebook is going insane. Okay, so we have that done. Now we can go ahead and close up our sunset. That way our inks don't dry out. We can move our sponge dauber. We no longer need that. This was the longest part on the cards to do, by the way. Um, just so you know, it was very easy for every card to get done here. This was the longest thing, the longest um, card. Or the, the one that took the longest, I should say. And it's even still, it's rather quick. So, so all you're going to do is just line your card up now, oops, and just like, sh oh, hello, there we go, so it looks like this, and then we have our other two, pe our other two hearts that look like that, and that. Now, we're going to go ahead and layer our honey piece on top of our lagoon piece, uh, and then we're going to be ready to layer our card base on. Layer everything on my, our card base, I should say. Okay, so we're going to take the Cloud Nine BT Duo and we're going to dovetail it. Now, the way I do this is I snip right up the middle. And then I come in from the left side first, and I meet up to where I cut. Then I come in from the right side, and I meet up to where I cut. And then, there you go. There's your dovetail. See? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and let's push our hearts to the side for just a second. And our lagoon and honey piece. And we're going to go up about three quarters of an inch and we're going to layer down our oops, our BNT duo piece okay and we're going to add the ATG on the orange circle side and like I said about three quarters of an inch up okay and once we do that we're going to take our I'm, I think you can see this from where I am. We're going to take our gold washi and we're going to line up along the edge. Or if you go over a little bit, that's fine. You're going to leave uh, about a quarter of an inch, not even. And you're going to take, oops, you're going to take your washi down. Okay almost to the edge uh, probably about a good inch and a half off the end and you're just going to make a straight edge with a pair of scissors okay so like this now you're going to take your shimmer trim and we're also going to dovetail this piece so before I even pull it I'm going to do the dovetail part just because it's easier for me to do We're going to pull it out. Okay. Now, like I said, I always measure this out because I don't ever want to overcut too much of this. So I'm going to cut to right about there. Okay. I'm going to take the edge or the backing off. And I'm going to go 
about this far down. And we got that. And then I did wind up have a little bit of overhang. So all you're going to do is just snip it off. And you'll, you'll be good. See? Nothing left there. Now, oops. Clearly I didn't push that down hard enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer on our lagoon piece now. We're not going to use any um, uh, foam tape at this point. We're just going to use, you know, Tombow or ATG or Bonding Memories glue, whichever you have. And we're going to go in about a quarter, about a half inch actually. And we're going to go down and leave a little less than a quarter of the cloud nine piece like this. See how it's showing at the bottom? Okay. Now we're going to take some foam tape. I can get my heart up. Um, and we're going to put a little bit along the back. Not much. Just enough. So we'll put it here down. And to give it some dimension. And we're going to put it to where it's just about centered in there, uh, between the top and the bottom. Now let's take our hearts, and if you can cut a little bit of foam tape, you can do that. If you can't, just use your ATG or your Tombow, and it'll still look perfect. You just got to make sure you cut a smaller piece of the foam if you're going to use the foam tape. I want to use the foam. I love making things pop up. Even though the post office um, charges you a bit more for it. I learned when I mailed out my Christmas cards at $1.25 a piece. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so we've got our hearts on. We're all good to go. And there's our card. Total with me talking, we're at 12 and a half minutes. Not bad, because I did a good four minutes of talking. So it's a super cute card, super fast. That is the last card in the kit. So you've seen five days of cards. I hope you that was enough to entice you to go on and purchase this kit. Um, my online web store address will be down in the um, box below, but I will also tell you it is www.craftinandstampin.ctmh.com. Uh, you can check out my blog, www.craftinandstampin.blogspot.com for more ideas. Um, and I thank you so much for watching, and bye!